video on Google Sheets, we're going to be discussing some of the different tools that you can use. In particular, we're going to be looking at files, how to save them and download them, how to edit some of the different tools that you might not see in some of the other Google Suite, um, in the other Google Suite software options. Like you won't see some of these tools in Google, Sli Google Slides or Google Documents. And of course, we want to talk about just changing the view, like you can work with grid lines and showing formulas and things like that. So I want to talk about some of those things that may be a little bit different than maybe what you would see in some of the other Google systems. So first I want to talk about just the basics of files. So up here in the file button, you can click that and you notice you can do lots of different things with this. So first of all, you can make a copy of this. That would mean that if you wanted to, um, maybe you're downloading a opt-in or freebie, that's a Google Sheet you can and and the option is to create it um create it with yourself or you want to edit it a lot of times people when they share opt-ins they make it so that it's view only so you will want to go to file and make a copy and when you do that you're just going to rename it whatever you'd like save it to whatever area you want to save it to whether it's your drive or on your computer itself and then of course you want to click OK. Now, if you want to copy the comments that were left there, you can, but for the most part, if you're downloading an opt-in, that wouldn't be an option anyway. And then when you're ready, you click OK. Now I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to do that in real life. Another thing you can do is you can, again, like Google Documents and Google Slides, you can actually download this as an, a different style of document. So if you want to actually download it uh, to your computer, you can actually download a spreadsheet in Google Slides, excuse me, Google Sheets as an Excel spreadsheet, which is pretty cool. So you can do that. You can also download it as an open document format or even as a PDF. And then there's some other ones down here too, like sometimes you have to save things as a CSV. I know that when um, I've had to transition from one market email marketing software online to another, I've had to use a CSV file. So that allows you to upload all of your email addresses with the people's names at one time. And so if you have a file like that in Google Sheets, maybe you have a, all of your people who have opted in and you have everybody's email and their first name, for example, you can save that as a CSV and then maybe you're transitioning from something like MailerLite to ConvertKit or whatever, you can easily just upload that CSV file. It makes the process a lot quicker. Now you can also email as an attachment, and that just means that you're going to send it, instead of sending it directly as a Google Drive link, maybe you wanna send it as an Excel sheet or a PDF, and then you would put the email address in here and type your email right here. And then if you wanna send a copy to yourself, you can, and then you click send. I think that's pretty fun and pretty cool that you can do that. So maybe you don't, the person doesn't have Google Sheets or whatever, or they don't have a G Suite account, you can simply make it a, an attachment instead. And you can do it right within the file itself it's, um, instead of having to do it in Google Documents or Google Sheets, excuse me, it's, instead of having to do it in Gmail. So the other thing I wanna share with you um, next is talking about just editing files. So it's very similar, this is kind of a very similar setup to Google Documents and Google Sheets. So you have your undo and redo button. You'll notice that the keyboard commands are right here. And once again, I'm working on my Mac right now. I have been doing some of these videos on a PC and some on a Mac. So you'll know that some of the commands look different. And so a PC command for keyboard is gonna look, look more like the control button where on the Mac it's gonna show the command key. So just keep that in mind. If you prefer keyboard commands, you'll see them there. And you're gonna see that all of these are, these two are actually over here on the dashboard file right here. So you can undo and redo, it's similar to the other ones where you can undo an action if you wanna get rid of it, or if you accidentally deleted something and you wanna put it back, you just hit the redo button. Now you can cut things as well. So if I wanted to get rid of this, I could go to edit and cut, and then it would get rid of it. And then I can of course undo that if I want. And I can copy something and paste it, okay? Now find and replace is a lot of fun. So I can find the name and replace it with cat. And if I wanted to do that, I'm not going to do that. So if I wanted to replace every single name Linda with the word cat, then I could do that. 
and didn't replace all and be done, I can be more detailed with it and just in this sheet or in a specific area range. So this would be like if you have a very big, huge Excel file, sorry, a huge sheets file, maybe with all this data and all these names and all this stuff in it. And to search for it manually would be really, really challenging. This is just a quick and simple way for you to search for this thing. And you can put the parameters in here about if I want it on this, all the sheets on this file, just this particular sheet page, a specific range of, you know, cells, etc. And then you would click done and it would take that and find the information for you. Now, one thing I want to show you too is you can, and it's hard to tell, I'm going to see if I can make this a little bit smaller, but you can actually add sheets to it. I don't know if it'll let me show you. Be I don't think it'll let me show you down here, but I want to show you how to add a sheet. So you might be confused by that. So in Google Sheets or even Excel, you can actually add sheets. So you can have multiple pages, basically. So it's hard to see down here. So I'm going to show you up here. You can go to Insert and then New Sheet. And I just want to show you that you can actually have a brand new sheet. Now you can see it's hard to see. Um, I don't know if you can see it down here or not, but you can toggle between sheet two and then this is sheet one, and you can actually rename them different names if you would like. They're going to default to sheet one and two and three and four and five and however many you have, but you can actually toggle between them, which is really neat. So again, if you have, maybe you're creating just for your personal business or maybe your personal family, a large yearly budget and you want to track your budget month to month, you could have a sheet for every single month where you're tracking your expenses and your income coming in. And that would be a great way to track it month to month. And then that helps you with your taxes at the end of the year too. You know what you spent, what your expenses were, what this cost and that cost, and it makes turning in your taxes a lot easier. So back to the task at hand. We're going to talk now about changing our view. So this is really important because you can do some really neat things. So you notice that the default here, we have these grid lines that just gives us a defined column, a defined row. And then we have almost what looks like little grayed out borders. These are called cells. If you don't like having those there, you can actually get rid of them. If you go to view and you uncheck grid lines, you can see that they go away. Um, personally, for me, this really stresses me out. Like I could not do a Google spreadsheet without the grid lines. I like having them there. It lets me know what's what, so I know where to put things. But if you don't like that, or maybe you want to print it without the grid lines, you can do all of the data with the grid lines in there and then uncheck this and it goes away. You can also do a couple things with your formula bar. So you can see that my formula bar is there. That just shows you what formula you have, and I'll explain that in a second. But if you create a formula, you can see what formula is there. Now we can also show the formulas or not, depending on what you wanna do. Now I don't have any formulas in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually show you a little bit about just a quick one about formulas because I'm gonna do a whole video, separate video on just the functions and formulas. But I wanna show you really quick what I mean. So let's say that I wanna go over here. This is my function formula area and I click on it and I just wanna know the, the sum. That means we're gonna add up everything in all of these selected columns and I click that and you can see right here that it shows me the actual formula. So this is the formula bar right here. And then what I have to do to get the answer to that is I have to hit enter. Make sure. Now I have something selected, show formulas. Now you're gonna probably go, well, wait a minute, Carrie, how do I get the answer? So I have to go back up here. So if I click on this and then I go back up here, I unclick the formula, do you notice what changed is now I have the answer. So this would be the answer to adding up 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. The answer to that is 100. However, um, if I, I don't wanna see the answer, if I just wanna show the formula, I just click on that and you can see it changed back to formula. 
The other thing I wanted to show you really quick on here is the view and the and the full screen. So again, we're looking at changing our view. So I can zoom in. I can make it a little bit bigger. Right now it's set 100%. If I want it 125 um, I could do that. I can go back to 90% if I want it a little bit smaller. Um, I'm just going to default back to 100%. Now you can also see that this is up here as well on the dashboard area. So if you don't want to go to view, which again takes a few extra seconds, you can simply come over here and do the same thing. I'm going to put it back at 100. Okay, and let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. There's one more thing I wanted to show you and that is full screen. So you can toggle to full screen. It just gives you the full screen view. And then remember you can hit the escape button and it takes you right back to your regular screen. So what we were talking about today is working with our file area, editing of files, changing a few things with our files, and then looking at our view, changing the grid lines, looking at the formulas and what that would look like in a little bit. And also I showed you guys how to create some new sheets at the bottom. So you can change that view as well if you wanna separate data and not have it all on the same page. Hope you guys tune in for the next videos where we're going to talk in more detail about some of the other functions in Google Sheets.